Hey everyone, thank you for joining me in today's video where me and Tom will be showing you exactly how we created this dragon slash Charizard sculpture. Uh, don't forget to check out our Facebook page where the sculpture will be featured in a future giveaway. Uh, link will be in description and comments. Uh, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So we're going to start today's video by making the wings of the dragon. Uh, these consist of three 4mm Allen keys or some you may know them as hex keys. Uh, so three of them per wing and two uh, just standard bolts really. Uh, so we're going to go for a shape similar to the first one we made. This sort of shape. And let's head over to the device and start bending some metal. So after a lot more hammering and bending, uh, we finally got our shape for the wing. We've cut the bolts down to the right size, uh, so now it's time to weld her up. So that's the wings complete, uh, quite happy with how they've come out. There's the second one. Now it's uh, time to move on to make the head. So this is what we're going to use for the head of the dragon. Uh, we got some cheap 10mm spanners there. Uh, we got a couple of wing nuts for the nostrils. We got six washers just to make a bit of texture up on the face. Uh, we're going to use these ball bearings along with these little clips and a little bit of sheet metal to create their uh, triangular eyes and then we're gonna taper these off on the lathe and cut them down to size and use these as the horns so yeah let's head over to the uh, vise and uh, start bending and then make a start and welding them So with all the prep work being done for the head, uh, all that's really left to do is weld it up and then we'll move on to the body. So that's the head and the wings complete. Tom's done a really nice job of that. Now let's go and have a look and see what we're going to need to use to make the body. So here's everything we're going to need to make the bodies out of. We're using two different sizes of nuts. Uh, for the front of the body, we're going to fill it in with some little bolts, two different sizes. And then to join both sides up, we're going to use these washers. Uh, we're going to use the larger ones for the sides. And we're going to use these two smaller ones for the top and the bottom. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So just like that, the body's together. It's 
it's got a fair bit of weight to it. Uh, we'll move swiftly on to making the arms and legs next. So here's what we're going to use for the arms and the legs. Uh, we've got 12 of these M6 wing nuts, which are going to be used for the claws of the arms and legs. Uh, we've got these two little bolts, which we're going to use for the arms. And we've got these camshaft rollers, which we're going to use for the base of the legs. These two little uh, wing nuts up here are going to be the kneecaps. Uh, so yeah, let's put it together. So that's the legs and arms complete, they're looking pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to make the neck next which is probably the easiest and shortest step of the process. So yeah, let's see what we're going to need for that. So uh, like I said, there's not really much that goes into the neck, just these two pieces of steel rod really. We're going to bend these into a pyramid shape and also bend these two washers into a pyramid shape and attach it to the body. So that's the two pieces of the neck complete. That was quite simple. So we're going to move straight onto the tail. We're going to use all these washers. We're going to make a sort of cone shape that tapers off at the end. That's got a nice little twist in it. Uh, and then we're going to add this twisted nail to be the end bit of the tail. And then we're going to finish it off with these two little wing nuts as a sort of flame effect. So yeah, it should look pretty cool. Let's get straight into it. So that's the final piece of the puzzle complete. All that's left to do is buzz it together. So there you have it. There's me and Tom's take on a dragon sculpture. If you made it this far through the video, thank you for watching. Uh, definitely check out our Facebook page because we give away a lot of the things we make here on the channel. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be great as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.